Hey guys, it's Mark from Ericsson Machine and Performance. In this video, we're going to go through different ignitions, CDIs, flywheels, lightweight flywheels, different combinations to get more performance out of your jet ski or two-stroke engine. So, let's get started. Alright guys, thanks for coming to the channel again. We really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to help the channel out, we have sticker packs with all our different logos. Um, we also have keychains, different things like this, which this stuff, if you get any machine work from us, it's included. And we also have... Oh, focus! Ericsson Machine and Performance t-shirts. All this stuff, if you guys order from our Facebook page, really, really helps us out. But more than anything, if you take a second and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, be greatly appreciated. So I've had a bunch of you guys ask me for kind of like a mods list. What can you guys do to make your jet skis better? So I'm going to do this in a few parts. I'm going to start off, this is going to be the first one with ignition. I'm going to do a carburetor and intake one. Um, and then I'm going to do an engine one where the engine one will be stroker crankshafts, aftermarket cylinders, stuff like that. The intake will be all different carburetors, um, different flame arresters, intake manifolds, reeds, and that stuff. And the first one, of course, which is ignitions. So there's a few different ways you can go with ignitions from cheap to expensive and it really comes down to budget and what your needs are. Um, really the most powerful ignitions that you can get are MSD total loss. This basically removes the complete charging system out of your jet ski. You get to run an ultralight flywheel that's just straight aluminum. Um, this is an older one. The newer ones are even more cut out or they can be modified to be made ultralight. Instead of like the stock 701, which uses a coil to know where to fire the coils, this uses a magnet and a trigger. So this is really the lightest, most powerful setup. The coils that they use on the total loss are extremely powerful, but there's also some drawbacks to it. If you're riding in salt water all the time, salt water conducts electricity, well, much better than fresh water does, so you can have all kinds of arcing issues, have performance issues from that type of stuff, and if the system's not wired correctly, you can just have a bunch of problems. One step above that, so you can actually modify stock CDIs where you just grind a section out, you put a resistor in, or you can actually do ProTech, what they used to do is they, this is a bad one, but it's what I have around. They would put a rheostat in it, so you could actually adjust the rev limiter, which is a great mod, raises the rev limiter over stock, cheap, so you can find online how to do it. It's not an expensive way. Um, one step above that would be, you know, a, an MSD enhancer. In all honesty, this is probably one of the most reliable over the years CDIs out there. So these things have been made for years and years and years. They're really, really reliable. The big downfall to a lot of CDIs is they just don't last. Um, electronics in the water on top of it, you know, with coils where you don't ground your plugs, different CDIs are more sensitive to issues. Um, I'm not going to name any names because I don't really like to badmouth companies, but there's a lot of them out there that just aren't reliable. And if you spend, you know, four, five, six, even $700 on a CDI and it goes bad in a year and you got to buy a new one, 
you're going to be bummed out. So this, for you know, the past what, over 20 or 20, probably close to 30 years at this point, has been one of the most reliable in the industry. That is until now. So the last few years, probably longer than that, I've only been using them for a few years. The Zealtronic CDIs have really, really come out swinging. They're competitively priced. They're significantly cheaper than an MSD enhancer. Fully programmable. You can set them up with two different timing curves. Um, if you buy these from us, I will program them for you. So you tell me what you want. You know, whether you want just a mild tune that's totally safe for pump gas or you want to try to rotate the earth. Um, either way, I'll be happy to set it up for you. These things are phenomenal. What you can do with them, and it's also great where you can have two tunes where you set it up on a switch. So you can have a pump cast tune, and you can have a try to spin the earth off access tune, which is great. So you can buy different programmers for it. So this is the USB programmer. This is normally what I program them with. Um, gives you nice options on the computer. I'll show you in a few minutes that um, or the USB programmer which you just end up plugging into the CDI. Powers up. And you can start going through everything. So for the money in my opinion, hands down, these are by far the best. So if you guys are looking for a CDI, hit us up on Facebook, email me, my email's in the comments below. Um, happy to help you out with it. The one issue with it is for these to work, you have to be able to use a trigger eye ignition. So it can't be a coil. So you have to use the Yamaha 760 electronics and flywheel or stator and flywheel and wire it up accordingly. So the difference is, so this is a 760 flywheel. There's a magnetic pickup, well trigger that when these come around and it hits them, that's what tells it to fire. Where with the stock flywheel, there's magnets that hits the coil which is what tells it to fire so this needs a trigger to work so it's not only buying this it's buying this with a stator stator cover and flywheel but you end up with a rock solid system that you can program and really really performs well so that's really the basis of CDIs. Now there's a bunch of other manufacturers, Advent, ATP, um, just to name a couple, but there's, there's tons of them. Some are great, some aren't. Um, Advent's been around forever. ATP has great products as well. It all comes down to your budget and what you're looking for. This is great because you can change the program. You can grow with it. Um, you can send the flywheel to me. I can lighten it and you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to take a second now and I'm going to show you the programming software on this and then we'll get back to everything else. All right guys, so here we are. We're on the computer with the Zealtronic software. So you can see, so this is the stock curve that it comes with. This is the second curve. I'll be happy to program anything for you, you know, depending on the setup you want, how you want to run it. So, but it's really nice, all the options you have. You can select a different map, the static angle, pulses per rev, delay, advance, rev limit um, so it gives you a whole bunch of different options and shortly I will be getting some of the triple CDI's so these can be used for the Yamaha 701 Cowie 750 Cowie 800 
They can be used for the Cowie 650s if you want to convert to 750 electronics. And then also like CDU 800 and CDU 951 if you want to rewire everything. So, but this shows you the software basically. Let's go back over to the bench and show you some more stuff. All right, so we're back, flywheels. So there's, you have a few different options. So if you go total lost, you're going to have the lightest flywheel you can end up having because it's just a piece of aluminum with a gear and a couple of small magnets on it. You're not charging anything with this, um, but even that, you'll get a few tanks of gas with a charged battery. So this is by far the lightest. Next, so there's Jetnetics, which is this. There's Rad, TBM, Richter, um, I think ATP, a, a few more that make a lightweight flywheel. The one big thing with lightweight flywheels, other than the Jetnetics, any that have an aluminum hub like this, you want to take the time and you want to lap it. I have a video where I lap a Cowie 650 flywheel um, when I'm assembling that engine. I'll put a link in the video somewhere over here, probably. Maybe here or here, I don't know. Which shows you how to do that. It's really, really important because what ends up happening, aluminum soft. So if this taper is a slight different angle, you set it on, you torque it, and the pressure will actually crack these. So by lapping it and torquing it to the right pressure, you're not going to have an issue. Now Jetnetics went a step further, which there's pluses and minuses. The minus is they put a metal hub. The whole problem is then you're adding weight. So now you have a lightweight flywheel that's significantly heavier than it needs to be. But you don't have to worry about that issue because you're not going to break the piece of metal. Great flywheel for the money, but they're expensive. Your other option would be sending your OEM flywheel to us, us lightening it and balancing it. You want to be real careful. Um, when you get them lightened, make sure they're balanced correctly or you're going to end up having front bearing issues. So we lighten them. Um, we offer two services. So there's the standard lightning, which is this, and then the ultralight. The ultralight, we end up drilling the face and we end up drilling the main gear. The standard light and flywheels are basically indestructible. You're not going to have an issue with them. Um, the ultralights, in flat water, you'll be fine. You want to be careful in surf because, you know, the ring gear is significantly lighter. I tack the ring gear to the body to make sure it doesn't come loose. But you're taking a ton of metal off these things. Um, I've done several hundred over the years, and I think I've had two failures or three failures. So, unfortunately... If you take something that weighs four pounds and you make it weigh two pounds, eventually you're going to have issues. Now, when we go for the Zeotronics, which uses the 760 flywheel, we have a few more options. So one, we can lighten it, which is great. The other option that we can run with this is we can actually remove all the magnets and set this up as a total loss. The nice thing is, when you remove the magnets, you don't have the pull from the magnets, which adds weight to the assembly, and also the magnets weigh a lot. So you can take this flywheel and get it super light by converting a Zeotronic system into total loss. So, which is a great option if you want to go that route. You can also lighten it, leave the magnets in, it's going to perform great, and just ripper how you want. So a couple other things I want to show. These are add-ons. This will actually be more in the fuel video, but we just came out with them. So we're making fuel and water line separators, spacers. So we make them for quarter inch, three-eighth line. We're going to make a few others. We have 
as you can tell a whole bunch of different colors so these can be bonded inside your hull um, or just left floating it's really really nice clean way to have all your lines instead of having little cut pieces of hose and wire ties going through or just stuff going all over the place we can also make these for your spark plug wires they're actually really nice they pull apart so you can clip them on the wires and obviously this is a big one but the bigger ones are a little easier to pull apart so it's a nice little add-on for your ski if you guys want hit us up they're really not all that expensive we have a whole bunch of colors be happy to make them for you and then the last thing I wanted to show this is my buddy cranking customs hydro dipping um, he does killer killer work so this is an e-box um, for one of our Zealtronics systems we're doing um, he can basically hydro dip anything your nozzle your front covers steering nozzle start stop switch you know basically anything you can think of it's got all kinds of different designs so just wanted to show this stuff off he does really really nice work it's a nice way to make your ski pop with just a couple extra little parts so but as always if you guys are still here we greatly appreciate it if you take a second if you haven't hit the like and the subscribe button please do it and you guys have a good evening thanks again for watching